Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todderbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you miss any of my future videos. In front of us we have the Iowa FR-C33. It's the AM FM weather band portable radio. Yeah, cool radio. I like it. I picked it up for 20 bucks off of eBay. It was supposedly new in the box. The box was ratty. There was no instructions with it. Kind of just tossed the box. It was in bad news. Uh, but the radio seems in pretty good shape. It looks pretty mint, so I'm pretty happy with it. So let's go over this. This is my first Iowa radio, believe it or not. Um, I never had one before. Uh, so let's go to dimensions. We have 9 inches across, 4 and a half inches high, and a depth of 2 and a quarter inches. Size comparison. I'm going to have to bring this up, it looks like. Pretty good size radio lengthwise. Uh, we got CC Pocket. <laughs> and then we have recently reviewed... I don't know if it's going to fit on here. Is the Radio Shack radio? Uh, yeah, there you go. So it gives you an idea of size. All right, well, a bigger radio runs on 4C batteries. This one runs on 4 A's. Big difference. I like the compactness of this. It reminds me of the Sony 306 for a compact little radio. I like it. All right, so let's go over features of the Iowa. Uh, let's see. On the left hand side, we got the earphone jack, which sounds really good. It's uh, FM. Mono, both ears, same with AM. Uh, sound quality is great on FM and AM. I liked it. Uh, we got the Iowa in gold. It's a cool embellishment. On a black uh, metal speaker grill with a 3-inch speaker behind there. Here we have super sensitive tuner on our dial. Uh, we have the AM, FM weather. AM's probably 1710 to 530. And then we got FM 108 to 88. And weather channel, we pretty much just got the one fine tunes on channel 5, which is 162.5 megahertz. Cool. And then over here we have the mile number, radio receiver, weather band. Here we have a tuning light that turns red when the radio's in tune. Here we have a volume indicator and an on-off indicator. Uh, you'd think you'd do something with this, but actually it's on the side is how you use that. So uh, let's go ahead and look to the right-hand side here. I'll get this into view. This is a tuning wheel, and it's really easy to tune. Nice and easy, wide. Really like that. Um, here is the volume control. You can see a user from the side. And then really cool feature I thought in this radio was the tone control. And it's a wheel. And I'm like, this that's why I bought this thing. I'm like, oh, it has tone control too. Sweet. Uh, but it doesn't work on my radio. I don't know why. It does not work with a speaker. does not work on any different... It uh, doesn't work on FM or AM or weather band or the headphones. So I think there's something wrong with this potentiometer. Either a solder joint or it's dirty. But um, I'm going to open it up one day and find out. I just didn't want to open it up right away because it sounds pretty good without me messing with it, so I left it alone. Okay, top of the radio, you see two little divots here. That's where the handle comes up. Here is a band select, AM, FM, weather band. We're in weather right now. Tuning, telling you it's a tuning knob. And the back of the radio, some cool stuff here. The Iowa model number. Takes four AA batteries. Made in China. Um, it's got this really cool... Flip out handle reminds me of the 306. The 306 is definitely a little smaller radio than this, but this gives you an idea. It's got a nice little flip out handle and it sits flush with the back, which is really nice. Here at Spot for four AA batteries. I'm not sure if the life expectancy of this radio on the batteries, I'm guessing it's going to be halfway decent. I'm guessing at least 50 or 60 hours because um, it, it doesn't seem to have a, a ton of volume, so I'm guessing they limit that to make the batteries last longer. And then the bottom, of course, is flat so you can stand, set your radio up normal. The antenna is pretty cool. This antenna extends out to 23 inches, and it's swivel 360 degrees, which I find very nice. You know, that's really cool for fine-tuning, get that station you want without having to move the radio everywhere. So, very cool. All right, so we're going to go ahead and talk about the FM reception. FM reception. The FM, the FM sensitivity is very good, and the FM selectivity is good. What that pretty much means is a 4-star on the sensitivity and a 3-star on the uh, selectivity. I was running into an issue where I'd find faint stations, but it was hard to get them uh, close, or, or uh, sorry, tuned in because the the bigger stations were kind of swapping out the smaller ones. This may have a you know one of those uh, filtering circuits where it wants to lock on the stronger station, so you're, it's harder to get those sensitive stations. But I got about four dozen outside, and they sounded really good. And when you found a strong station, it locked on, it wouldn't fade. You can move the radio around while you're walking, and it wouldn't change anything. So I found that really nice. Um, so very happy with that. So overall, good FM experience with this radio. So we're going to go ahead and turn it on. I think I got on the weather band at the moment. I'll raise my antenna so you can hear that. 
Yeah, pretty big antenna. Let me just move a radio before I hit it. Okay, let's tune this in. Indicator tuned. Waves one to three feet subsiding to one foot or less in the afternoon. Tuesday night, south winds ten to twenty knots becoming southwest after midnight. So pretty much the one channel is all you're gonna get. But it has it and it works. Cool. So I thought I'd show it to you. That was nice. You know, I can kind of double as an emergency radio. That's why I always look when I look on eBay, I'm looking for deals. I mean I'm not finding super deals. I mean you go to the the goodwills and you find this a goodwill be like probably four dollars or something that'd be awesome um that's what i hope that's why i'm showing you guys this radio so if you find it you know go for it it's amazing um but yeah i'd love to find this cheaper but for 20 bucks i'm pretty happy with it and uh and having the weather band on there is really nice and having the option to have that when storms are coming uh it's nice just to be able to pick this radio up and then tune right to there and see what's going on so it's kind of its own emergency radio in its way and i like that a lot so let's go ahead and turn this to radio totterbert dial in FM. We'll do a couple minutes. Nothing on the turn control. Eh, it's all right. Got a real neutral tone. So that's a good sampling of what's happening in there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and unplug some transformers. We're going to do a little AM run, see what this can do. During the day, the AM sounded really good on this radio. I was enjoying it. Um, I was able to get some of my semi-locals, which is good. When I say semi-locals, 50, 60 miles. Um, I might have gotten one about 130 miles away, uh, Michigan Channel. Really hard to tell. It's kind of faint. Um, I'm guessing the antenna isn't super big in here. I'm guessing about a two, two and a half inch variety. 
Um, but it did, did roll well. So we'll see how it does tonight. I haven't done a nighttime scan yet. So uh, we're going to go ahead and go to the AM band there on top. Cool. I like how easy they got little indents there. It's really nice. Okay. So we're on the AM band. We'll go to the bottom. I like the... Um, I wish... Well, actually, I don't like... I like the nice black numbers on the white, but I don't like the white indicator on the white. So if this was like orange or red, that'd be cool. I guess I could always change it if I want. And... Uh, and it says AM and it says wide. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I guess that might be the wide bandwidth, maybe, maybe geared towards more of a music element. So let's hear it and find out. I hear some static. Everything's unplugged. Okay, good. Now, if we do have to reference anything, it is 1041 p.m. Central Standard Time near Chicago, Illinois. We'll use the CC Pocket to help us out. All right, let's go cruise the AM band. changing economy the human advantage available wherever books are sold are you a timeshare owner that would like to get out of your a lot of travel between 530 and 700 there This is 620. It's a local. So that uh, music there is 650 WSM Nashville, Tennessee, 434 miles. So yeah, the selectivity isn't fantastic, but it's pretty good on getting locals for sure. And like I said, semi-locals. That's 640, I believe, next to it. So we'll go up to the next at 670. Eagles game during the fifth inning. John Gant, the starter for St. Louis, filling in for the injured Michael Walker. Walker with uh, an oblique injury, and he'll be out for at least a couple of weeks. Albert Almora Jr. leads off the Cubs' sixth inning and takes outside. John Gant with seven shutout innings. I like how it sounds in AM. Very good. Against a red hot Cleveland team, the Indians come in with the seven game winning streak. Brought everything to a sudden halt. Yep, Chicago. Wouldn't it be great if your claim could be processed in hours? During the Jane Byrne era. That's right, yeah. Um, with quick photo claim. Photo of the damage from your phone. So this is 700 WLW. It's having a hard time again because the strong stations are next to it. So, yep, 700, about 300 miles away. You'll see in the Fifth Bank Family Pavilion now, with our forward thinking vision, we've, we've actually activated. So, local WGN Chicago. Um, throughout certain spaces, and there's this really cool interactive digital screen um, that people have to check out. Okay, so that is Toronto, CFZM, which is really cool that I get that. Um, it's uh, 460 miles, so nice. It's kind of hard to tweak, but maybe I have my loop out probably help it. Talking to we love to have you in studio. Time coming out with us, and let's talk all things Navy Pier. Yeah, I love that. Thank you so much for having me. Oops, I went the wrong way. <laughs> I'm like, what happened there? This is normally 760. Let's see what this is here. Yeah, so 760 WGR. It's not coming in great on this radio. Uh, let's see. It's 270 miles away. We're getting it okay. Local 780 WBBM, so it seems pretty accurate on the dial. This is 830 um, WCCO Minneapolis, 310 miles. 
them and help SWAT guys. NASA will probably not explain. 840 WHAS. So, so this is uh, 850 KOA Denver, 890 miles, so that's cool. Cool. Got the call letters. Yay! This radio can get something. Oops. Wrong way. Not sure what the music is here. I gotta check it. It might be 860. It is. Okay. Started speaking French. <laughs> CJBC, Toronto, Ontario. 460 miles. They're playing some music. Normally WLW or WCBS. Can barely make them out. There it is. So that's 880. I think it's a bad night for getting these in, actually. This CC Pocket can't get in either. That's 750 miles away, New York City. Really relevant given the tragedy we're witnessing on the Texas border. 890. We got through 1,000. There we go, it's 1,000. Okay. <laughs> Organic cotton sheets. These are the softest sheets you'll ever feel, and Let's they get right softer here. over time. They're twice the quality of other luxury sheets for half the price. Join the hundreds of thousands of Americans, including free U.S. presidents, sleeping better than ever on Bowl and Branch sheets. Bowl and Branch guarantees you'll love their sheets. 1040 you is um, Des Moines, Iowa, 280 miles. Plus, Bowl and Branch has. My play. So it's well, not super selective here. It's hard to get the in-between stations. Like there's probably 1020 in there. 1040. Our next loudest station should be either my local 1060, I'm sorry, local 1050. Um, okay, so we jumped up right to 1100. WTA on Cleveland, Ohio, 345 miles. I just said it <laughs> as I talked over it. Should be fun to watch. Brandon Geyer is going to pinch hit. Cool. Got a game. The Indians as they'll take the pitch by Hicks. 100 mile an hour fastball, a strike on the outside corner. This is 1120. Uh, St. Louis, Missouri, 275 miles. KMOX. A Cardinal starter, John Gant, who's in line to go 2 and 2. Too late. The pitch. Slider outside. And you know Gant his name. In other words, Joe was the top man on the totem pole of life. And out to his employers at the Washington. Both disappointed and disgusted. The goal toward which he managed his Next and flat out bring it. 
Okay. It's a world of make believe. So this uh, preacher guy is W uh, Y L L Chicago, 1160. I think this is 1180 here. Okay. 1180 is Wham, Rochester, New York. 545 miles. Pretty sensitive. I guess you could try to hunt the uh, distance or semi locals with this. Not too bad up in the upper band here. Use a loop with this thing would probably make a huge difference. Let's think about a good analog radio, just nice and smooth. Uh, if they were to be transported in the time machine to the present day, they would of course be amazed by any number of things that Let's see if we're at 1530. At the size and power of this country, and the fact that their experiment is still alive, I think that might surprise. So we have 1540 KXEL, Waterloo, Iowa, 210 miles. You got Jackson, and now you got DeAndre Ayton. Their original guidelines have been, uh, shall we say, sidestepped. That is to say, limitations on the power. So the guy at sports was 1530. It's kind of mixing there. All right, let's go to the top. So this music here, I believe, is 1610, typically. Let me turn this radio back here. Let's see what we got here. 1610, CHHA. There we go. I think it's the same thing. Yep. So this is Toronto, Ontario again. 460 miles. And I got the 1690 today with this, so it does go up to the top of the band. Grand Rapids, Michigan, WPRR, 140 miles. So again, that dial is pretty uh, really accurate on the AM there. Nice. Okay, so we made it to the top. All right. I'm sure, that's off. Okay, here we go. Okay, final thoughts on the Iowa FR C33. Um, if you could find it used. And not too abused <laughs> um, for like 10 bucks or under, give it a go. Maybe even 15 if it's in good shape. Uh, 20 is definitely a premium for this radio, um, for it being older, used. Uh, this one here, like I said, it looks like it's pretty good shape. The only wear I noticed on it was where it was riding in the box um, on the back handle here. But really, it doesn't look like it's been used at all. There's no scratches on the, on the dial there. There's no dents or rusting on the grill, which is nice. Um, so overall, really good looking radio. So for laying down 20 bucks, I'm not upset that the tone control doesn't work. Like I said, when I feel brave enough to open this radio up, I'll try to fix that. I think it's fixable. Um, it's just a potentiometer. I'm hoping it's just a, a break on the circuit board I can fix, you know, a trace that I can bridge. Uh, hopefully it's something real basic and maybe just a cleaning on it. But uh, yeah, sound sounds pretty good. I like this for, for sports. It sounds really good. 
um, on FM with the headphones, it sounded really good. Uh, with regular music, it sounded decent. It's just you can't really jam too loud with it because you can definitely tell it's limited. Even at eight, it wasn't punching, you know. Uh, it's not a huge speaker and it definitely is geared for voice. So on the AM band, it's done, doing a decent job for this type of radio. Again, it reminds me of the Sony's a little bit as far as reception goes. So, well, there you go. The Iowa, something different, right? I love that. Uh, so, yeah, is it recommended by? Yes. For If you can find a $10 or under, go for it. 15 if it's in good shape. 20 at the max. Don't spend more than 20 bucks. And if it's 20 make sure it's mint like this and it came in the original box and everything. Then you'd have yourself a decent deal. I think it's worth 20 bucks all day long. All right, guys. Well, if you like the Iowa, hit the like button. Yeah. <laughs> or you like Todd Herbert making this video for you, hit the like button too. <laughs> um, also, you know, it's not all about the radio. It's about me too, right? <laughs> uh, and if you're uh, new to the channel and you love these type of radios, you're like, wow, I've never seen that before. I try to find different stuff uh, to showcase and do reviews on. So hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon, get notified of new videos. I put one out every evening for your pleasure. You'll, you'll love this. Um, I do classic radios and new radios and weather radios and you name it radios i do all the am fm some shortwave radios we have a lot of fun you can tell I, I love analog radios if you go through my my video page you'll see that a lot of my radios are analog i just have something about analog radios are nice um i do like digital radios though they do serve a purpose but the analog just i just love the smoothness going through the dial sounds good i'm happy to own this radio um so yeah with that said uh check out a uh, couple uh items on my page uh, if you go to my about section uh, up on top there you'll see uh, some links to patreon you guys are great over there supports fantastic for the channel um, every dollar that's donated goes towards radios to review uh, I, I make it nice and clear for them so they can see what exactly where the dollars are going which is awesome um, you can do a wish list uh, you might have an amazon wish list where i put little kits on there and testers and different things and inexpensive items some expensive items in case you know like my family decides to buy me something which they haven't yet <laughs> it's funny families like that right um so uh you can check out the amazon wish list it's a lot of fun if you guys want to donate a little radio or something you want me to review it's cool um also i have an about section you can get my email address uh go in there and click that and if you want to send me a radio say hey todd Herbert, i found another iowa for you to look at i got it for two bucks and i don't really need it you want to review it i'll send it to you so you know hook up with me on the email and let me know let me know what you got so i have actually got somebody sending me another radio so we'll be reviewing that soon and yeah so look at those options and then paypal is not another option for you if you can't do those things you just want to ship a you know a couple bucks my way um, I will give you credit for it. I'll mention you in a video or by your first name, at least, if you don't want your name said. Um, but I will give you credit because you deserve it. Um, you guys are great. Supporters are awesome. So without me rambling on, we'll call it here. Uh, but remember to comment below. We think of the Iowa FR-C33. Would you buy it? Do you like it? All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Take care and goodbye.